I'm orange and I don't know why. I tried messing about with it for five minutes and it didn't work, so orange. I want to get this out before I forget about it. It's not, it's, it's a half-baked idea, like all of my ideas are. But these little things just come into my head and if I don't... I don't... I don't I don't research it. They just like buzz into my head. And I've been thinking about water, haven't I? Boring everybody to death about it. And don't forget, we're transitioning from Pisces to Aquarius. We're transitioning from a water sign to an air sign. And I can remember listening to somebody somewhere along the line describing Aquarius as the water bearer in it as what we're going through now is the birthing pains and Aquarius will be when the waters break and obviously um, birthing pains hurt I don't really know what this is I'm going on about but like I say these little thoughts buzz into my head and there might be something in it the age of Aquarius the water bearer is an air sign and I know I read something somewhere about how Pis the Pisces age is top down and the Aquarius, Aquarius age will be bottom up so off with their heads that's all I'm saying and that kind of ties in with the monarchy. We couldn't bloody stand them when Diana died, could we? We couldn't bloody stand them. We couldn't bloody get rid of them quick enough. And now they seem to have, like, repackaged themselves and everybody loves them again. Do you see that creepy video? of the, the Queen and it was like I can't remember what program it was it was live on the telly and um, the, she's like being carted around in a bloody coffin in a car and there's this woman and she comes on and she says something like uh, oh it's so creepy this bloke's just doing his commentary and she says I can't remember what was it she says um, it's really creepy I've listened to it loads of times it freaks me right out Oh, um, this death is forever, or it's better than that. This death is forever, and and she's trapped. So it's like, does that mean that, that it hasn't always been forever? And who's trapped her? And then you start thinking, oh, I don't know, I don't know what you start thinking, but maybe they wanted him in. But anyway, it's got probably got nothing to do with it. But it kind of has got things to do with it because the Aquarian age is about bottom up. Okay, so that's why I think there's all these, all of these kind of grassroots movements will take off and have been taken off. And, you know, communities getting together and build, like we are, the tribe. But they have to muddy the waters because they know the consciousness is going to be all about bottom up and doing it yourself and not wanting bosses and not wanting monarchy and not wanting governments. They know that the consciousness is changing from Pisces to Aquarius. So we can't, They can't stop that. They can't stop that that's what the consciousness is going to be more receptive to 
So they've got to get in first and muddy the waters, aren't they? So, old bloody pigtail woman and, you know, they've got to, all of these causes, you know, there's a different cause every week, wasn't there? It's kind of, I've said this before, it's giving the new consciousness of one into bit it plays into the yugas as well the new consciousness is going to be about community and is science as well it's air but if we were left to our own devices we would naturally be going into kind of tribes and helping each other and not wanting bosses not wanting monarchy that is the twinkly sky water that's what we're going into from pisces to aquarius we aren't we would naturally come together as collectives and and bring all of our skills to the table and we would naturally be doing that because that's the consciousness we're going into they know that so they've got to get ahead of the game and they've got to manipulate the come up with their own grassroots organizations and causes and things to so that it doesn't happen naturally do you know what i mean and because they know that the consciousness is receptive to doing that now it's like i talked about this when i talked about the yugas um carly's all about um knowing your place and accepting that um you know the royals is like god's ordained you know and you sort of you know carly's all about tugging your full you know being a subservient servant kind of knowing your place kind of a thing and we're coming out of that now into aquarius and realizing that we're important as individuals and but that sounds like really selfish but it's not because i think aquarian aquarius is like yeah you realize you're important as an individual you don't need a boss you don't need a bloody king or a queen to tell you what to do but you also realize the importance of everybody else that's what i mean by bring you would ex i'd bring my creativity you know somebody else would bring their practical skills and that is actually happening and it they know that that's what they can't stop it so they have to be in charge of it and they have to manipulate it um so going back to the water thing yeah we're going through the birthing pains maybe because the water's about to break the baby's about to be born well that's terrifying isn't it all of a sudden i've got rosemary's baby in my head Oof. I don't know. These things buzz into my little head and I bore you with them. You should be used to that by now. Maybe next time I see you I won't be an umpa lumper.